everyone, this is Jennifer Johnson with Hot Hardware and today we're going to take a look at the BlackBerry Playbook tablet. This is the first tablet to run this all new BlackBerry Tablet OS. It's a 7 inch tablet with a resolution of 1024 by 600. Under the hood you'll find a 1 GHz dual core processor as well as a gig of RAM. As you can see here there's a front facing 3 megapixel camera. We have a 16 gig Wi-Fi only version here. There are also 32 gig and 64 gig models available. 3G and 4G wireless versions are also expected at some point. Taking a look at the edge of the playbook, you can see the HDMI output connection here as well as the micro USB port here. On either side of the screen there's these two speakers. The back is pretty simple, but you also have your 5 megapixel rear facing camera. Up top you can see that the power button is extremely small. We found it actually hard to press at times. Thankfully if you do want to wake the playbook, you can slide your finger upward from the bottom bezel to wake it from sleep. There's also the volume rocker and a multimedia playback button. Take a look at the browser. You can see the site loads pretty quickly over Wi-Fi. The browser is really very responsive. Of course there's full accelerometer. Works pretty well. You can also double tap to zoom in. Anytime you're within an application, you can bring down a menu for that application by dragging from the top bezel downward. Here you can see that you can add a new tab and perform other functions. To switch between applications, you drag upward from the bottom bezel. Take a look at pictures here. You can see various wallpapers and pictures that you can load up. Of course, there's swipe option. The calculator is also kind of unique. It comes up with this um, kind of paper tally on the left that you can see here. There's also standard scientific unit conversion and tip calculator modes. Of course, anytime you want to switch back to another application that's already running, you can just scroll through here. The BlackBerry Playbook does not come with dedicated email, calendar, contact, or task list, list management applications. They're supposed to be coming in a future update, though we don't have a specific date for them. In the meantime, BlackBerry provides Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, and AOL Mail links that you can see here. However, they're just browser links, so they're not really anything all that special. Taking a look at settings, you can see just various options here. You have your about, Wi-Fi, software updates, Bluetooth, BlackBerry Bridge. If you do have a BlackBerry smartphone, you can connect it to the playbook via Bluetooth, and then you can access your email, calendar, messenger, and more through through the playbook from the smartphone. If you're looking for applications for the playbook, the best option is the BlackBerry App World. You can see it here. Sometime this summer there's supposed to be a couple of apps coming out that will let you run Java applications as well as Android applications. No official date has been announced, but nonetheless at least we know that the functionality is coming. This has been a look at the BlackBerry Playbook tablet. Stop by our site for the full review.